Hi everyone, my name is Sean Armour from Affiliate Income Hero and in today's video we're going to talk about um, newbie affiliate advice and advice that I wish I took more note of when I first got started. So if you're new to affiliate marketing, these are some of the things I would really, really encourage you to take on board because when you first start out on this journey, you are bombarded with so many conflicting different bits, bits of advice and strategies, tips, you name it, but there's a certain core element that um, you need to understand and embrace when you first start because otherwise it will just impede on how quickly you can find success. Something I found when I got involved in affiliate marketing and when I look back, I wish I'd really taken note of these things. So there's gonna be five essential tips um, that I think you need to be aware of when you're starting out and you really need to take them on board um, and have them in the you know in the forefront of your mind when you're considering what you're going to do and your strategies and, and how you go about building your business. So first of all the, the, the number one piece of advice I would give is is pick your poison and what I mean by that is pick your strategy and that could be any one of you know umpteen different strategies that all work online but when you first go to that that search bar and you type in how to make money online with affiliate marketing or, or whatever it is you know you're given so many different choices that um, you you're not sure which direction to go in so sometimes that leads you to flitting from one thing to another or even worse still trying to do two things at the same time um, it doesn't work you need to really really concentrate on just one strategy Otherwise, you'll end up spinning your wheels and actually going nowhere. Um, you have to do it. Um, and commit to that thing and just follow through with that one strategy. Um, if you don't stick and commit to that one strategy, you'll get nowhere with lots of them. I hope that makes sense because that's basically what I did at the very start. I saw so many different things showing me how I could do X, Y, Z. And I thought, well, I can implement that on the back of what I'm doing. And then um, I ended up not doing anything. Um, just have an attitude of hanging in on there until something happens because when you're new you don't know what to expect you're told this is what can happen and you're shown the figures and the glitz and the glam and all the rest of it by a lot of the uh, affiliate gurus but um, you don't know because you've had no real personal experience so you have to decide on, a, on an avenue on your poison of whatever it's going to be don't flip from one thing to the other and just commit to that strategy until you see how it works if it suits your personality because sometimes they don't and, and then you move from there and then you know all of these strategies it doesn't matter which one you choose you will find proof of success in all of them and the only difference between yourself and many many other affiliate marketers that get started with the, with a good intention is the ones that actually have success are the ones that have actually stuck at it and done it they've you know they've stood the test of time they haven't flitted they've committed uh, number two there's no quick and easy now this one is um, probably not entirely your fault because I think at the moment in, in society in general we live in a microwave mentality and when you've done that search on Google and you find those products that are promising you the, the glam and the glitz and the instant earnings almost um, this there's, there's just too many false promises and you know we expect everything to happen today now that's just society in general and that translates into the online world and that's why a lot of these products that come out that you see that say you can start earning in you know within the first day and you can do a hundred dollars a day five hundred dollars a day some as much as a thousand dollars a day they hit on those those particular um, pain points that they know is going to get you fired up and you know get you to get your wallet out effectively and the, uh, trust me that there is no such thing um, and that's why shiny objects, you need to tune out. You need to really tune out. Once you've chosen your avenue, um, forget everything else that you see because there'll always be a new strategy, new trick, new software that comes out every single day. And if you were to buy every single one of them, um, you'll just end up more broke than you probably are when you start out your journey. Um, this is a real business, despite what your friends say. Another thing that held me back was the, the belief, lack of belief in, you know, I work in a real job in the real world um, and that's that's what people see as being a real job if you speak to your friends your family about what you're doing on the side that it's immediately frowned upon um, because they don't understand it so they immediately think it's a scam it's not affiliate marketing works uh, and you have to be prepared to work at it like a job 
you know if you don't treat it like that then nothing will happen because you won't give it the, t- the attention it needs and and again this is something that if you have a full-time job you're earning a reasonably good wage you sort of think oh, I'll have a dabble it's not going to hurt for me to have a go uh, but you don't put your heart and soul into it and because you don't do that uh, you don't get any traction um Embrace delayed gratification. Again, this goes sort of hand in hand with that microwave mentality of wanting everything now. This really hit home with me after I'd spent the best part of 10 years of doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I had unrealistic levels of expectation because of all the products I'd seen, because I'd listened to all the gurus. I've been on all the webinars where they say that, you know, you can buy this this. Um, software in a box or business in a box and you can just click the the three buttons and all of a sudden you're going to be making money Um, it's guaranteed you know all this sort of stuff you believe it and then you have an unrealistic level of expectation and what happens is you implement it for a month or two months you're not getting the traction you want and then you move on to the next shiny object it's not going to happen overnight you just got to understand that as I said it's a real business and if you're not prepared to, to think of it like a real business then this isn't the game for you and no business is if I'm honest. If you left your full time job and wanted to start your own business you'd be working that 16 hours a day. That's a fact. So there is no difference to an affiliate business online and you starting a business offline. The only difference is one is in, in the physical world so bricks and mortar and the other in you know involves everything being done in a digital format um you've got to commit and trust the process so rather than think you're going to be making some money in the next 30 days put it off push it right out don't have that as a goal have your goal as being able to put the um, building blocks in place by a certain date i will have my first website built by um the end of the third week fourth week fifth week whatever it is have those as goals rather than a, a, having a, a monetary goal because if you have a monetary goal and you don't meet it you immediately think it's not working where it's not you know if you're putting the correct foundations in you're building something um that you'll re- reap the rewards on in the future so take action now and know that the results will come as long as you're following a proven plan and this is where a lot of us get um sideswiped because of all the false promises out there and you know there are a lot of a lot of people that um are untrustworthy if i'm honest from experience from a lot of courses i've bought they just don't live up to the um level of expectation that they built up on their sales letter or whatever it is they're saying they're going to give you and you know it can lead to frustration if you don't do this if you don't it, you know delay your gratification like I said you will see you making you know you're putting the effort in you're doing the work you're doing two or three hours a day after work and then the weekends and you're not seeing anything coming back you'll get frustrated because you're expecting to see monetary gain and it's not happening and you you'll quit if you have a mindset of I'm just going to set myself this number of tasks I'm going to get through this I'm going to have a website up I'm going to learn about SEO I'm going to do XYZ I'm going to learn about YouTube traffic and you have those goals with no monetary expectations then all those foundational pieces will start to build to the point where it's only a natural progression for the money to follow invest in yourself I talked about being conned by um, you know shiny objects gurus selling courses some courses of you know five hundred thousand two thousand dollars and then not being um, up to scratch so you have to do due diligence you know, this is something that I've learned the hard way I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars over the years and I, and I mean thousands um, when I look back I think it's actually helped me understand more about the market so I can be more empathetic to other people when they get involved in affiliate marketing because I know what they're going through Um, but you will find someone you know there's lots of free information on the internet to get started just so you can dip your toes understand the fundamentals of how it all works and then you'll be in a better position to spot someone that can help you improve on those areas Um, 
but the free information isn't organized or easy to put together yourself and that's the whole point of investing in a course and a mentor because they already know all the parts so it saves you so much time because they'll just tell you what you need to do and then you can just go away and follow what they've told you to do just implement what they're telling you to do because they've done it and they can show you proof and if they're good at what they do and they're honest they will show you everything that they're doing they'll give you proof they'll test methods and they'll pass them on to you because they want you to succeed as well and ultimately that saves you money and that's the biggest thing time yeah money you can you can go out and get a job and earn more money time you can't get back that's the you know that's to me was the biggest thing was i spent that over a, over 10 years I've spent wasting my time and money. Uh, the money, you know, I can recoup, I can save again, I can go and work extra hours, you know, I'm in sales, so, you know, that's what I do for a living. So I know that, okay, I've lost that money, it stings, don't get me wrong, because it stings, um, but I cannot get the 10 years back that I've lost in flitting around and getting it wrong. So having a mentor or some training course that's very in-depth and you've got some support it helps put all the pieces together so you're not having to try and juggle things trying to work out how things go together what's the best way to do xyz it's all there for you <clears throat> um so and, and you're following in somebody else's successful footsteps and you know anthony robbins says if you want to be successful find someone who's achieved the results that you want and copy what they do and you'll achieve the same results and that's that's the same in any walk of life, in any business, whether it's online, offline, whatever it is, sporting, you know, if you follow what they do, you will improve. You know, it's just a fact. And it's, and why, why reinvent the wheel? You know, this is a proven path. Someone's done it. They're going to show you how to do it. Yes, you've parted with, you know, it's sometimes a lot of money to be able to get that knowledge, but it will save you time, which you can't get back, and lots of money ultimately over time, over, you know, a short period of time. And number five is take massive action. You know, action always beats intention. It's, it, there's, it's always great having great intentions, but if you don't do anything, you go nowhere. And again, in my early days, what I found was uh, I would analyze everything. You know, I'd be consuming all the information. I'd read over things. I'd you know, watch videos. I'd, I'd take it all in. And when I logged off, I'd be thinking, crikey, that was really good. I know all this stuff. I know everything about, you know, writing an email and sending an email and building a list and whatever it was at the time SEO was something I was massive into a few years back so I knew all the tricks and tips and everything but I never implemented it I didn't take action and I didn't get anywhere you know that's my fault I, I know that hands you know I, I can't you know deny that it was down to me and a lot of it was down to the fact that I thought if I the more I researched the more I understood the, the, the better the execution would be but I never actually executed it, or if I did, it was very half-hearted. So you've got to take massive action. The more action you take, the better you'll get. And you also learn from your failures. This is another thing. People think if you fail at something, that's it. I've given up. They'll throw, the, you know, they'll, they'll throw the the toys out the pram, as it were, and they just say it doesn't work. That, you know, just, that's not right. If you look at it from a more positive aspect, I've tried umpteen things over over ten years that hasn't worked for me. But I've learned the things that haven't worked. I now know that certain things don't work. I now know that things don't suit me. Certain things aren't my personality. It doesn't work for me. I don't find it enjoyable. So I've learned something. They didn't work out for a reason. So I've moved on to things that will that I do resonate with and I do understand and I, and I, I am happy to do because I find them enjoyable. And it brings you closer to achieving your success. If you don't do anything then you will not find the success that you've set out on this journey to achieve in the first instance. You, you, you're here watching this video because you're interested in starting um, a business of some description online, or you may be just looking to supplement your income or you're you know, making some extra money to pay for some luxuries in life. Whatever that reason is, unless you take some action, you'll never get anywhere. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and as I said before, failure, although it's deemed as being a negative thing isn't necessarily what people think it is um, and the, the more action you take the quicker you will fail so the quicker you will learn what you need to be doing next so you know I hope all that makes sense these are some of the things that when I reflect back on my journey um, makes me a little bit sick to the stomach to think I wasted that much time um, but equally it shows me how much I've grown as an individual 
um, I'm older, wiser, and I can look at things in a different perspective. And um, if you're starting out, then these are the things that I would encourage you just to take on board. So as I said, my name's Sean Elmore from Affiliate Income Hero. Um, I really appreciate you listening to the video today. If you want to follow along on what I do online, please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I put new videos out. And um, if you are new and you are looking for a way to start understanding how to put all the pieces together in affiliate marketing i'd encourage you to click the link in the description below below where you'll be taken to a free resource that will help you get started so it will give you a really good foundational understanding so my name is sean elmore from affiliate income hero and i will speak to you soon